Have you figured out how to make it work yet, the trekking pole? No. Have you figured out how to record your video yet? Yep. <laughs> We finally arrived at Upper Harkwa campground after a five hour drive um, and the three of us are about to start the walk along the Upper Harkwa walking track which will link up with the base of Mount Howitt. So there's 13 river crossings just like this one. The boys have tried to get across without getting their feet wet. Um, Sean succeeded, Dan's failed. I don't think there's going to be any point in bothering. We're going to end up with wet feet at the end of the day. So. Here we go. What's this, crossing number six? Yes. So, we're not sure if we're actually on the Howitt Spur or we're heading towards it, but it's a pretty bloody steep hill in pretty hot weather. Much hotter than what we thought it would be. After a pretty demanding walk up a hill, um, it started to level out a bit. Um, so we ended up walking, we reckon about four kilometers from Upper Harkwa campground. And then it started to track uphill from a campsite there next to the river. That was the last place that we uh, had access to water. In my limited research of this walk, um, I came up with eight kilometres of walking along the river and then another two to three kilometres up to the summit of Mount Howitt. Well, it appears that it was more like four kilometres along the river. We reckon six kilometres to the summit of Howitt and we're almost there. It's just up there behind us. Feels like 16. <laughs> How are you going, Sean? Just amazing. So this is the hardest section by far. This last short leg to the top, to the summit, and uh, it's hot. It's 10 to five and it's hot. Uphill. Yeah, more uphill. Oh my god. This <laughs> hill is f***ed. <laughs> it just doesn't end, does it? Come on. You think you're at the top. I lie down. And then you got more trail. <laughs> Where's Dan? I think you died. Uh, the thing I just can't get over up here is you turn a corner and you get just such a completely different perspective of all the mountains 
um, and the terrain surrounding you. So we're going up that way. Less than a kilometre now to the summit. It was actually a lot further than what I thought it would be. It seemed like we were at the top when we weren't and then it's another two kilometres past that to the hut. So yeah, this is not the trail. Sean's just gone the wrong way and followed uh, what appears to be a goat trail. This is pretty much the staircase right now. Sean, how do you feel and was it worth it? I feel absolutely wrecked. But yeah, it's good to be here. Can't get bored of the view. No. And Dan, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's amazing. Just can't see anywhere higher than to come from the river up here. What did you say about the difficulty level before? It's so good. easy. Moderate for an Olympic medalist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we are, we made it to the summit. And we actually stopped short of the summit by not too far, a kilometre. And um, we all agree that we think it was probably better views from over there. Just that up there. We think it's between one and one and a half kilometers from here. So should be water there. We'll set up camp for the night. So you can see the crosscut saw, this ridge line here, all the way across. where we'll be staying the second night. The ledge no Gantner hut. Oh, there's a hut. It's up that way. Where is it? Time to set up camp. Get a fire going. You're just taking a video of my sexy body. I am. 